so I looked at the film request, and and he was on there and stuff. And he look, his smile and his eyes got me. I mean, that's what got me hooked. Gone are the days of when dating was all about meeting through friends and family. Now it's all about apps and online dating, where your picture and your profile do all of the talking. But with those apps comes people pretending to be someone they're not, so they can take advantage of those truly looking for a connection. How they trick you and how to protect yourself while looking for that someone special. That was romantic. And, Patricia you know, Coomer wasn't looking for love when it found her six months ago. I was just browsing through Facebook, and a couple of notices came up saying I had a friend request. A friend request from a handsome stranger. But his eyes and his smile. A ship captain overseas looking for someone to talk to. Everything that he was saying clicked beautifully. Coomer is a widow who we lost her husband up. five years ago. I'm in that lonely state. I mean, 41 years of marriage is a long time and then lose your best friend. The online relationship blossomed. And after a while, Patricia's new love needed a little help. And that's when he asked me for $50. You know, I can help you. You're on the seas and stuff. It was a small request, and he assured Patricia he would pay her back. In fact, he told her he was trying to come home to meet her. And something even more exciting. I'm asking you to marry me. And I was thrilled to death. Bars on the side here is the bars that he has on his uniform. But soon the excitement wore off, and those small requests got bigger. Okay, I kept asking for more, more, come $100. $200. Then he said, well, sell your house and I'll take care of you and send the money to me and, you know, um, I'll be there s s within 72 hours after you, after you do it. I sell my house. Why would I want to do that? It was after that request that Patricia saw a news story on romance scams and she realized what was happening. And I kind of like, oh, how stupid can I be? U.S. Attorney Trent Shores is with the Northern District of Oklahoma. It's one of the agencies taking a hard look at this type of fraud. His office, along with the FBI, arrested seven people back in November, five of them right here in Oklahoma. He says the only way to crack down is for victims to come forward. The key to anything is you have to report the crime. If you don't do that, then we can't stop these fraudsters from doing it to someone else. The way they change just the Better Business be Bureau also go. tracks these types of schemes. Amy Mitchell is the president of the Tulsa office. It can happen to anyone of any age. So the younger generation, the older generation, it does not matter who you are, what website you're on, scammers are going to find you. So how can you recognize romance fraud? Really look over that profile. Um, look at the picture, reverse image it through Google to make sure it's not assigned to another person or it's just a picture that's been downloaded offline. The Better Business Bureau says to watch out for these red flags. Someone who wants the relationship to move a little bit too quickly but just can't seem to meet in person. Or someone who's just a little bit too good looking. Also, watch out for someone who has a sob story, somebody down on their luck, and always be cautious of someone who asks for money. One of the ways that, that they get away with it mm -hmm. is that they embarrass their victims. And when their victims are ashamed to come forward because it's that natural feeling, I got tricked and I don't want to admit that I got tricked. Then that allows them, that enables them to do this to someone else. Now, this is the one that makes In the end, Patricia ended up giving the handsome captain around $850. Amazon was 100 A small sum compared to other victims. In one of the cases here in Oklahoma, a victim from prior gave their online love more than half a million dollars. I think it's horrible because you're pulling on that person's heart. And while Patricia's fairy tale didn't work out. Turned out to be more of a nightmare. She says enough. she hasn't given up on love or that. online dating. But I'm going to be more cautious. Well, if you think you've been a victim of this kind of fraud, we've posted a link on how to report it inside this story on our Two Works For You app.